okay hello guys welcome to photoshop in this tutorial i'm going to walk you through how to design an epic poster so let's get started over here i have my background here okay so i'm going to expand it i press alt on my keyboard because i'm using a uh, photoshop cc 2022 so i'm going to expand it by holding out so that it's resizing it from the middle and after that i need to blur the background a little bit so i come over to filter I move over to blur and Gaussian blur. Okay, so I'm gonna blur it to my choice. Voila, that's okay by me. I'm gonna tap okay now. That's that's cool. So I'm gonna lock this layer. So this is my the model I'm gonna use. Okay, this is the model I'm gonna use. All right. So with that, before that, let's let's let me balance the color of the model with the background. I set the model over here. Come here. Tap on color balance and uh, I clip. I tap on this clipping icon to clip all the effects I'm going to apply here just to this image. Okay, so I'm going to increase the blues and I'm going to add a little bit of magenta. Voila. So this is the before and this is the after. So after that is done, I I can select both of them, both the effects and the model. So I click and tap on link layers. Okay, so even I'm, I'm going to move it, it's going to be linked together. So I'm going to give it over here, grab my text tool, and I'm going to write here, hello, something, hello, so write hello over here, hello, October, because this is going to be a new month uh, poster design, hello, October, okay. Now, uh, the hello text is better grade. We use a better grade font. And while the October, I can decide to use the, the quickest sans. The quickest sans is a font created by me. Okay. All right. That's it. Hello, October. You can use the quickest sans. Make sure you, you can check it out. Uh, you can download on Google. Search on Google the quickest sans font. And you're going to see some links to download it. So in this case, I didn't want to use this particular font. I wanted to use something like this, Riffic, because this one is a little bit wonky and stuff, okay? So that's what I wanted to use. So I'm going to remove the boldness. Okay, that's okay by me. Hello, October. Now, um, it's going to be very simple and straightforward design. I push this guy over here and the hello is gonna be here and this okay push them down a little bit all right now um hello october okay i don't know if i'm let, let me try to add a an exclamation mark over here i don't know if that's cool no it's better i leave it so the next thing i'm gonna write is happy new month that's just it i want it to be a very simple and straightforward flyer design I'm gonna draw a shape like this and make it white. The stroke, I, I can say no stroke. Push it down here a little bit. So now text tool. I'm gonna write here happy new month. Happy new month. Okay. You can now put the exclamation mark. I've always wanted to put there. So on this happy new month, I'm gonna pick a color from the background that's a little bit dark. I don't want to use black directly. Happy new month. So in this happy new month, I'm gonna use the quickest sands, I guess. Okay. That's it. Let me use a space between. Okay. Happy new month. Select this uh, whole sheet and I resize it this way. Select this as well, whole sheet resize it this way. Select both of the shape and the text. I'm gonna align it here, both vertically and horizontally. Okay, and after that, I shift it here. Now, as you can see, that's a very simple, straightforward design. Hello, October, happy new month. So this guy is gonna be in front. So select both of them, push them in front. Okay. 
Now I have to put my logos and branding. So I'm just going to drag it here. Okay, that's it. It's always my, you know, it's my personal branding, testing the biggest graphics. And you can see this as well. So these are the links to my Destiny Pickers graphics on all these social medias. So, and if you enjoyed this video so far, don't forget to like this video and you know comment down below if you enjoyed the tutorial. And if you want me to next stuff like this, you can also let me know in the in the comment section. So don't forget to subscribe most importantly. So after putting my branding over here, I also like to put something else below here. Alright. So this one is a it's just it's a place according to your preference. But me I always love I always love it. So I always have like three of them that I used to put it here. Okay. There are always three of them. One has my barcode or my QR code, sorry. And the other one has my contact details. And this one is just empty, just in case I want to put other information over here. So whichever one is good, uh, I can use it. Maybe I can I should use this one. Okay, that's it. So I'll, I'll create this thing and just keep it. It's just a custom stuff for me because it's quite, it's quite boring to, you know, keep typing all of this over and over and over again. So it's always quite boring. Okay. Okay. So um, that's it for this part. So I'm going to reduce my character a little bit. Let me, let's see. Let's try something else. Okay. That's it. Now, the hello or the October. All right. I'm going to right click on the layers, go to blending option. And I'm gonna tap on drop shadow. Even though the background is dark, uh, let's try to add some drop shadow. I reduce the size and increase the distance and then increase the opacity. Okay, after that, I'm going to hide the background so you can see how it looks like. And I'm going to tap OK. Then, if I hide the background, you can see it creates this sharp shadow. All right, so I'm just going to go back there again. and that's it so i'm just going to add outer glow i always love using this in my designs you know it just it just it just an habit all right i love this color this color magenta so i'm going to increase that glow all right not too much i can add a little noise to make it a little bit noisy and that's just it for me i always love this stuff so if you want to go ahead to make it a stream, you can still go back there again. You can add uh, bevel and emboss, all right? So I always have my own custom bevel and emboss that I always add to my design. You see, it gives it another feel. It gives, you, it gives you that 3D touch. So whichever one you want, you can apply it. You can also apply the same settings I'm using, okay? So that's it. This is a before and this is the after. Okay, it gives it that 3D look. Now, for the hello, everything is just white, which I don't like. And sometimes I always use a. Uh, let me change the color. I always use this yellow orange, yellow like orange color. Okay, or not really yellow, something like this. Hello October, and the hello always always on. It should, it should be always on. I always like it to be on that on October because. Voila, that's it. So I'm just going to add a shadow to it. Go to blended option again. And add a drop shadow. Voila, a very sharp drop shadow, as you can see. So you might decide to add some glows as well. It depends on you, but for me, I think this is okay. Okay, let's try adding a, you know, a stroke, uh, an outer glow that looks like this. And this is a noise. I don't really like it, okay? I don't really like it, so I'm just going to remove it. And the shadow, I can raise the opacity of the shadow a little bit so that it don't be too too hard on the design. Okay. Actually, this is just a preference, but if you love it, go ahead and use it. Now, this is a happy new month. I just think still this is too big. I can just reduce it a little bit. Pull out. Okay. 
down this shape as well i'm gonna add that same shadow who knows maybe i'm gonna add this uh, outer glow as well oh let's see how this looks like oh okay so let's add this magenta a little bit okay it looks good it looks really good all right it is good um it's quite basic oh it's not basic i mean this looks cool so there i like a lot of my thing to be realistic so i'm gonna add these same glows to this image so it gives it that realistic realistic vibe all right so this is my image over here this is the first color balance i select my image come here select solid color and i'm going to choose this same color all right this is color here well i can even make it more brighter or something like this okay now after that i i change it to is it linear dodge or any of the dodges let me use this linear dodge linear dodge at right click go to blending option now on the blending option where you have underlining layer actually i always use this trick on most of my photo manipulation photo manipulation videos and make sure you check them out so don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you subscribe you're going to support this channel further okay and uh, additional links in the description below so check them out if they can be helpful to you all right so i click wait this thing now is always double i hold out to my keyboard and click on one of them then drag it further have you seen it so it blends this color with the image have you seen it whereas if i move both of them together it will it will be very hard on the image okay so let me keep the first one here i tap okay then i select the this 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 color field this uh, white part layer max so i press ctrl i on my keyboard to invert the mask you can see it's now black so if i want to paint those glows i'm gonna select my brush tool I make sure that your caps lock is not on because if your caps lock is on your cursor will show this uh, uh, icon so i'm gonna reduce my brush size okay then um change this part to white just click here to uh, swap it to white or you can just click here and make sure it's white so reduce the size a little bit now um over here on the flow i will reduce the flow i don't want it to be too much right so i just start painting those these glows on the on the skin realistically it doesn't it doesn't, it doesn't have to be perfect but it doesn't have to be too much as well so just paint it as if this glows is just casting to the if this the flow is too much, you can still reduce it so you make sure you don't make any mistake. Okay. All right. Not too much. Just make it real as possible. Keep it real. You know what I'm saying. Okay, that's it. Now. Um, you can go ahead add, add more time to this and you know make it cool this is a before and the after so i love my flyers to be really really realistic and artistic at the same time so um i think i'm doing it a little too much so don't worry just take your time if you make a mistake just change it to black you erase it just erase it erase some of them and you start again okay raise them and you swap it to white again and you know you continue what you were doing so do it to your taste and that's pretty much it for this uh, design so uh that's pretty much it and always remember to you know keep it simple and you know design is not complicated keep it simple the simpler it is the, the better and the information should not be too much because you can see the message is clear hello october happy new month we have the character over here you know we have some details over here for quality design send me a dm all of this stuff so like mm -hmm. 
I have the, the first, this is my logo. Someone starts to read it from here to the image and then we have call to action. So if you see the beautiful design like this, what's the next thing you should do? If you are, if you are interested in policy design like this, you know, take action from over here. So that's it for this video. I hope you learned a lot. Don't forget to like this video, you know, comment down below. Most importantly, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. So see you in your next video. Adios.